two very different flying machines and yet today they are closer in capability than you might expect. One is fully electric aircraft designed for a new era of urban air mobility. The other is a proven piston engine helicopter that has been flying since the mid 1990s. In this video, we will compare the Joby S4 eVTOL with the Robinson R44 helicopter to see how far eVTOLs have come and how close they are to rivaling conventional rotorcraft. We will also give our verdict on eVTOLs replacing helicopters, so do watch this till the end. It might seem unusual to compare these two. After all, one takes off with six tilting electric propellers and promises quite emission-free flight. The other uses a single main rotor driven by an aircraft piston engine. But they both carry similar payload, about four passengers plus a pilot, and they both target similar missions, short to medium hops between cities or within metro areas. So let's look at the key specifications. The first is payload. The Joby S4 is designed for a payload of around 450 kilograms, while the Robinson R44 Raven 2 has a useful load of about 420 to 430 kilograms, depending upon configuration. On this front, Joby has essentially caught up with the classic light helicopter. Now let's look at the range. The Robinson has a maximum range of roughly 560 kilometers on a full tank. Joby targets 240 kilometers on a single charge, which is less than half, but still enough for most urban missions. Importantly, Joby emphasizes quietness and efficiency rather than sheer range. Next up, speed. Both aircraft cruise around 200 to 220 kilometers per hour. Here the numbers are practically identical. Let's now look at fuel consumption versus energy use. The R44's Lycoming IO540 engine burns about 15 gallons of F gas per hour, translating to roughly 45 liters, which means around 5,396 megajoules of energy consumed. In terms of kilowatt hours, this would translate to 1,500 kilowatt hours of energy. Bear that number in mind. The Joby S4, by contrast, consumes around 6 to 8 kilowatt hours per flight minute at takeoff, dropping to 1.5 to 2.5 kilowatt hours per minute in cruise. This translates to per mile energy use that is dramatically lower, even accounting for the battery weight. It is estimated that the Joby S4 battery pack is around 150 kilowatt hours. Now, given that the Robinson R44 does more than double the distance compared to the Joby S4, but requires 10 times more energy than Joby, this means that mile for mile, Joby S4 is at least 4 times more energy efficient compared to the R44. Moving on now, let's look at the operating environment. Helicopters are notoriously noisy. They are around 95 to 100 decibels during takeoff and landing. Joby claims its aircraft produces about 65 decibels at 100 meters, which is comparable to city traffic. If this is true, then that's a game changer for urban operations. Looking at the progress, the R44 is fully certified and widely operated worldwide with thousands in service. The Joby, meanwhile, is still in testing with FAA certification targeted for the late 2020s but its piloted flights have already demonstrated the ability to meet planned performance. So the verdict? In terms of the range and proven reliability, the Robinson R44 still wins today. But in payload, speed and operating costs, the Joby S4 is right up there. In terms of energy efficiency, the Joby is way ahead. Furthermore, it has much lower noise and zero local emissions. The fact that a clean sheet electric aircraft is already this close to certified helicopter shows just how far eVTOLs have come. So can the eVTOLs replace helicopters? Not in the near future. Why? Because we are comparing the top performing eVTOL with a helicopter in the light category. We haven't even considered medium helicopters with payload of 900 to 2300 kilograms or heavy lifting helicopters with payload of 4,500 to 18,000 plus kilograms. 
These cannot be matched with battery technology of today. But with the hybrid systems on the horizon, EV tolls will be able to replace them given their much higher energy efficiency. Even with a hybrid system that uses electric generator, EV tolls still would be 1.6 times more efficient. After all, there's a reason why the military is taking an interest in them, particularly after the retirement of V-22 Osprey. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.